Weeks before allegedly masterminding the World Trade Center explosion, Ramzi Youssef had planned his own escape. He had a new identity, a new passport, and a plane ticket out of town. For nearly two years, he eluded the FBI, traveling first from New York to Pakistan, then Iran, with reported sightings in Baluchistan, Afghanistan, the Baka Valley, then Manila. He was there when the Pope visited last month, and Philippine police came within minutes of arresting him when they discovered a Yusuf-led plot to place explosives on up to five U.S.-flagged aircraft operating in the Far East. Bombs are Yusuf's specialty, terrorist experts say. He is a trained terrorist, trained above all in explosives, which he knows a great deal about. Born in Kuwait, he's fluent in three languages and teased his pursuers by frequently changing identities and appearance. The manhunt became so intense, the FBI and State Department flooded the Middle East with thousands of these matchbooks written in Arabic, offering a $2 million reward for Yusuf's arrest. At first, there weren't any takers. Steve Emerson is writing a book about the government's search for Yusuf. There really was a hopelessness that he would never be caught and never be seen again. But in Islamabad, Pakistan, where terrorists had earlier struck against the U.S. Embassy, an informant turned the alleged bomber in early this week. Ramzi Yusuf was staying in a boarding house. His hair dyed red this time when police kicked in the door. The world's most sought-after terrorist went quietly, agents say. They also say he was planning another bombing attack. Jim Stewart, CBS News, Washington. The evidence is on trial.